Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, everybody. For the first time ever, we have Durham Dragon merchandise. As you can see, we have so many different options of what you can get. You can get socks, you can get stickers, you can get hoodies, you can get shirts, you can get masks, you can get mugs, you can get everything, anything you want. A link to the Teespring will be down below for you guys to go check out. Please let me know if you cop some Durham Dragon merchandise. Please let me know. Make sure to tweet it at me. And with that being said, let's get into the video. All right. Hey, I apologize for these quick team builders for the actual video themselves. Just been really busy these past few weeks. For those of you following me on Twitter, you know, just kind of been really busy. But yeah, so for this week, we are taking on Platinum Howler, coach of the Delta Gligars in our week two BBL match. If you guys are excited for this, make sure to knock off that YouTube algorithm and leave a like, leave a comment. Last time I asked y'all something, I'm not sure. But something will pop up on your screen, letting you know that it's question of the day because I'm in a rush so I can hopefully get this up because it's already really, really late. So yeah, uh, Platinum's team is pretty terrifying. Easily the biggest threat is that Ice Horse Calyrex Fusion thingamajig. This is not Digimon. I don't know why Pokemon are fusing and it's scaring me because in Trick Room it kind of annihilates me to an extent i can kind of stop it i'm hoping i can stop it so that's kind of the game plan try and deal with trick room and then not get bodied potentially because he still has other scary threats like talon flame um tapu finney copper raja also is a little bit annoying i don't expect it but if it does come it could be a little bit annoying but yeah we have mixed offensive boots yavelta here this able to do pretty solid damage to basically everything i don't really need it to be fast because i expect him to try trick room so sub can stall trick room sucker punch is priority so it kind of helps in trick room and then we have a weird jirachi set here which is actually not that bad honestly like this can do really good damage it can wear things down it can pass wishes to the rest of my team it stalls out trick room turns as well which is really good so yeah this actually has a lot of potential to do some really good damage in this game which would be amazing next off we have zero aura with fake out which is nice to stall a turn of trick room if needed and then these three moves hit everything obviously we don't do too much damage to the runerigus but we have a yvaltal so we should hopefully be able to deal with runerigus and we also have Blastoise here, which is more or less my kind of main switch into the Ice Horse thingy, even though I don't quite knock it out, I do some good damage to it, and I could potentially burn it with Scald, so yeah, that's not entirely too bad either, this also helps against Runerigus. We have Mixed Defensive Clefable here, just to kind of pivot around and gain us momentum, Encore obviously for Trick Room, because we don't want that being set up, and then finally we have... Rocks lure Nido King here to hopefully try and lure in the Tapu Fini because that is a little bit of a nuisance. So the sooner that is gone, the better. So yeah, with that being said, let's jump into the battle, which does have face cam. So yeah, are back. Yes, once again with the BBL Gebasa YouTube, aka What's Up YouTube. If you guys haven't got your Durham Dredagon shirts then a link to those will be down in the description definitely go cop one if you have not already our team preview was before we got to this point so check out what we're bringing and we are facing platinum howler his channel link and stuff will be down in the description this matchup is a little rough i'm a little bit scared because i don't really know what six he could exactly bring and trick room kind of destroys us uh in this matchup so yeah i'm gonna press a we're gonna look at matchup here and i'm really really nervous man I'm really nervous. I need to write down immediately what he has. I need to figure out what kind of lead um, I'm going to have going into this. So, he's got the Calyrex, the Finny. Oh, he's got Talon. I was not expecting Talon Flame. Oof. That could be a little bit bad. Kappa makes sense. What am I missing here? The Urshifu. Mm, a part of me did not think he would bring Urshifu because we have so much to deal with it. Okay, so this is a little bit bad. Talon Flame was something I was not honestly expecting i kind of want to lead with my clefable here actually if he leads the the copper that's a little bad honestly isn't my blastoise like my blastoise is actually a really good lead here yeah blastoise seems to pair up against basically everything that he could potentially try and lead with 
So we're going to take a picture here of our team matchup. I'm excited about this. I'm nervous about this. If you guys are hyped, make sure to plasma fist that YouTube algorithm. Leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know down in the comment section below. What is your favorite genre of music? Uh, I got this idea, I believe, from Shea Quaza. I saw one of his videos and he mentioned something about having the same music in common with his opponent. And that had me thinking, well... Uh, for me, I'm Hispanic, so obviously I listen to like Spanish music, so I listen to like reggaeton, which is Spanish rap. I listen to uh, like, I guess like quote unquote Mexican music, like rancheros, um, yeah, like ranchero music, norteño on occasion like that. And then I also listen to like rap and hip hop, the occasional rock here and there. So let me know what type of music you listen to down in the comment section below. As he ends up leading off with the foo, as we lead off with our Blastoise Roo, uh, this is... Not really good for us, actually. I'm going to switch directly into my Clefable here. Because that is essentially my best switch into this. I'm hoping that he will not go directly for a banded hit on us. Otherwise, that is going to be very, very bad. So, yeah. Ah, I should have let Clefable. I knew it. I knew I should have let Clefable. If he's like choice banded, that's actually really, really scary. If he's choice banded, that is very terrifying for us. But I don't want to stay in. I really feel like we don't need to risk taking a hit here with our um, Blastoise immediately. So we're going to see what he wants to go for as we bring in our defensive Clefable here. Please don't iron head me. U-turn. Ah, he did U-turn. No. Okay, so he did a good little bit of damage there. About, what, 24 points of damage I want to say he did to us? Hold on, let's see. While we have the time here, you turn 24. Okay, so he's not choice banded, it looks like. He could be adamant, though. He could be like adamant scarf, potentially. Did I do my math wrong? Hold on. Yeah, he did 24 to us. So it looks like he's adamant, but he could be like scarfed adamant, potentially. Okay, so we got to keep an eye out for that. But he's definitely not banded. He's definitely not banded, which is good information. As in comes Jumanji, the Kappa Raju. Yeah, Kappa is, Kappa is kind of a problem. Uh, this is a little bit bad, I'm not going to lie. I could switch right into Ryback here. I'm going to bring a Ryback as I assume he's going to try and go for the... Um, the what? The, uh, the Stealth Rocks, potentially? We can take a Power Whip if he has it. Oh, he got us. We Oh, the dodge, the dodge, the dodge, the dodge. That was huge. That was really, really huge. I'm not going to lie. That actually might have saved us there in all honesty. Oof. That was good for us. So if he has heavy slam, mm, that's actually really good for us. I'm going to make an aggressive switch here. I kind of want to bring in the belt all. I'm going to bring in the belt all here. Oh, the fact that he missed that is actually really good for us. Because he would have been able to do a good chunk of damage to us. We would have got Rocky Homa damage off, but uh, that wouldn't have been a, uh, a good trade for us. So he's going to withdraw here. Infinity is... Tapu Finny. Oh, okay. Uh, Finny could be a bit of a nuisance, in all honesty. So Moonblast is doing a lot of damage to us unfortunately so i don't want to stay in here i want to switch directly into nido king i think here so we can hopefully try and get up our rocks he could try a moon blast he can nature's madness potentially i don't think he goes straight for the like the surf or anything like that so we bring in nido king here as he does nature's madness okay so we're in a good spot here so we can definitely live any one hit Poison Jab does a ridiculous amount of damage to this. What's his switch into this? Probably the Rune Arrigus. I really want a Rocks here. If he brings in the Rune, he probably goes for Stealth Rocks. Poison Jab is not necessarily the worst play ever. I'm going to Stealth Rocks, actually. Yeah, I'm going to Stealth Rocks here. Like, Rune Arrigus... Oh, no! I should have Poison Jabbed. Oh, we don't live that. Hydro Pump, though. That's good tech. That knocks us out. Oh, that's bad. Oh, 
Oh, I did not think he would have Hydro Pump. Okay, things are looking uh, pretty rock rough for us right now. Not going to lie. Uh, I can bring in Jirachi to try and flinch him down. That might not be the worst thing ever. I'm going to bring in Jirachi here. And just start going for Iron Heads. Ah, uh, losing Needle King this early is rather unfortunate. And if he has Defog on this, he could try and Defog here. But I'm going to Iron Head right away. We have a good chance to flinch him. Dude, I did not expect him to have the Hydro Pump. That Nature's Madness in the Hydro. If he didn't have any special attack investment, it was definitely a roll. If he had special attack investment, then he knocked this out regardless. Mmm, that was really, really unfortunate. If he had special attack investment, then that means he wasn't very defensive, so... Good call on his end, as we can Iron Head here. Good damage, good damage. Dodge? Ah, no dodge, unfortunately. He's got Nature's Madness Hydro. He now knows that we have Leftovers. So how much would a Hydro do to us, then? I kind of want to sub here, actually. I'm going to sub and hope that he either switches or he misses Hydro. And then we can protect. We have Wish. I could Iron Head right away. It's probably not the best play I can do right now, though. Ah, okay. So at least we got damage off on Finny. So it looks like he doesn't have Defog on that. Ronin is Urshifu. Okay, I'll take that. That's fine. We know that he is Adamant for sure. So now I can protect this following turn. See what he wants to do. Probably go for the Wicked Blow. Oh, this is where if we had the... I, a part of me thought he wouldn't bring Urshifu. Just because of all the answers that we had for it. So I'm going to protect here. Oh, I really wish I had Moonblast now. If I had Moonblast here, it'd be over. Like, I wouldn't even be worried. So I can Iron Head and try and flinch him down. That's an option, but that's, of course, if we get the flinch chances. Oh, he U-turns. Oh, no, I'm dumb. I forgot its ability. No. Oh, my. Wow. 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 I'm dumb. I would have gone for Wish. I would have gone for the Wish if I had known that or Iron Head. Wow. I forgot about Unseen Fist. This matchup is already so bad, and I'm already messing up. I'm already messing up, bro. Oh, this is rough. Okay. That sucked. I really messed that up. I really messed that up. I'm going to hard blast toys here. I'm hoping he thinks I'll protect. I really messed that up. Oh, man, I really messed that up. I could have wished there, protected this turn, and kept Jirachi at full HP. I completely forgot about Unseen Fist. Oh, dude, I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's really, really bad. Okay. So, Finny's at about, like, 80%, I think. If I got the flinch, that would have been nice. Urshifu is chipped down about, like, 78. No, no, actually, no, probably, like, 90-ish percent, I want to say. Cop is taking rocks. Talonflame is boots. We know it's boots. Because it took no rocks. We know he doesn't have defog potentially. As he flare blitzes. Awesome, 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 awesome for our Blastoise here. Because we're going to chip him down. That did almost 40 points of damage because of a crit. Burn me. Oh, dude, he didn't burn me. I'm surprised. Okay. So he did 40 points of damage. Right? Oh, well, like 39. He did 39 points of damage. Um, maybe I'm calculating something wrong here. But he definitely has some attack investment. That's right, he crit us. So he has some attack investment. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the flip turn, I think. Because he might go for the U-turn himself. So he's down to 76%. If he wants to U-turn, then that's good for us. So we flip turn here. Glad I had flip turn on this. Infinite, that's fine with me, baby. Ooh, yes, take the rocks, take the rocks. That's what I like to see. So this thing is getting uh, worn down slowly but surely.
As soon as it's gone, Yavelta just puts in work, bro. Yavelta just does the utmost of disrespect to this. So I'm going to bring in Jirachi here. And then I think this time go for the wish. I really want to say we can live a hit here. Well, actually, uh, he did have Hydro Pump. I think it might be worth just staying in and trying to get rid of this, honestly. So we could live on a roll, but I'm definitely going to Iron Head. Mm, I mean, whatever he switches in is taking, hit, uh, taking a hit from this, so that's all that matters. We have Rocky Helmet on Blastoise to chip down the Town Flame, so I'm not worried about that. We still have Wish on our... Kof not Kofable, sorry. We have Wish on this Jirachi too. we can pass off to potentially Blastoise. But I'm definitely going to Iron Head. I'm definitely going to Iron Head. As soon as it's gone, Yavalta just comes in, right? So he's sitting at about 48%, it looks like. Go for the Iron Head. Ooh, nice chip, nice chip. Mm, I can sub here on the U-turn potentially. Because if I bring in my Clefable, he's going to get rocked. Uh, I kind of want to Iron Head. I really, really do. I really want to Iron Head here. What if he Wicked Blows? Mm, if he Wicked Blows, that's a little bad. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Oh, no. What if... I didn't even think about it. I didn't... Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Why am I messing up, bro? I'm messing up so bad. I'm messing up so badly right now. I'm messing up so badly right now. I I am messing up so so badly right now. Ooh, yeah, this is looking really bad. I don't know. I don't know why the thought of like I knew he was adamant, but then I was like, oh well, obviously he's not gonna be scarfed. <sighs> yeah, this is bad. I knew. I knew it. I knew I should have brought in either Blastoise or Clefable. I messed that up. I really messed that up. I messed that up so badly. I messed that up so, so badly. And then if I bring in Zera Aura, then Rune comes in. It can Trick Room for free. That's really bad, too. But actually, it can't really Trick Room for free, I guess. I don't know. Damn. Oh, I messed that up, dude. I messed that up so bad. So we get the momentum here. We get the momentum here with Baton Pass. I think I need to Yavelta and just go straight for the Oblivion Wing. Yeah, this might be my best bet. I mean, we still have a chance. We're still in this. It's just that losing Jirachi was actually really, really bad. I really messed that up. I really royally messed that up. I'm going to Oblivion Wing here. Oh, dude, that sucks because now we don't have our physical moves. I mean, we can Oblivion Wing. This should still do good damage. It's not bad at all. So I can wing again. And then eventually go for knockoff potentially. So how do we win this? Because dude, Trick Room is so problematic. Like literally, like going into the match, I knew Trick Room Calyrax. Like it literally just bodied me. So he's gonna flare blitz. This shouldn't do entirely too much. We're pretty bulky. Alright, good. Hopefully we can knock him out here. Yeah, so we're going to knock out Talonflame. Hashtag not a 6-0. So that's always good. 
not a 6-0. Finney probably comes in here. If it's purely offensive, oh, we just die. If he's not offensive, we live. If he, like, it depends how much special attack investment his Finney has. And then, unfortunately, Oblivion Wing is still only a 2 KO. So he could bring in Finney here. We could try to Fable, maybe? The fact that Talonflame is gone is not the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, Copperage is still an issue. We might still have a chance to win this. Jumanji's Copperage. Okay, that's fair. Um... Darn, man. I don't know. I don't know. We can try on Blastoise here, hopefully. I'm hoping he heavy slams first. Then we can try and Scald. Losing Jirachi is really bad because Jirachi was one of my main focuses of trying to stall out Trick Room if it came to it. And as soon as I killed the move, I was like, oh, wait, he can be Adamant Scarfed. Oh, dude, I've misplayed that so bad i really messed that up i really messed that up that was that was all me that was all me i i just i should have switched i knew i should have switched if we can get a burn here that would be nice terrain's not up can we burn this no burn dodge no he hits we die <sighs> <laughs> yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm not gonna lie. There's not. There's just really nothing we can do here. Once Trick Room goes up, so yeah. Unfortunately, this was just a really bad matchup for us. Like if like if I had kept Jirachi, I don't know if that really if that really would have like postponed how the match would have initially gone. It would have definitely helped us out though. Um, then again, like. Him you turning into Kaparaja was always really terrifying as well. But then if I just brought in Blastoise, then I know he goes for the Wicked Blow. Clefable also was just kind of a safe switch in, in general, which wouldn't have been entirely too bad. But then I figured that like he's just gonna U-turn, right? Like his best play is to probably U-turn here because I have two clear answers to whatever he has. But no, he saw through that. Yeah, Klepto Pot yeah. I can't do anything to this Runerigus, unfortunately. I assume he's going to try and trick room. I'm going to try and bring in Yveltal. Maybe get up a sub. He could also just go for trick room, memento, and then that's basically game. Two. And the fact that I, get, I let Yveltal get burned was really bad. A part of me also didn't expect them to bring Talonflame. Which was also just really, really bad. Yeah, trick room, that's fair. Like, there's, there's nothing I can do. My best bet is to try and trick room. Not trick room, sorry, but try and substitute here. Maybe he doesn't go for Memento. But I can definitely see him going for that. So he's going to switch as we trick room. I mean, as we sub, sorry. Infinite is the... The thingamajig, okay. So we can Oblivion Wing here. He probably thought I would dark move there, which is fair. So Oblivion Wing into Sucker Punch will probably knock this out, most likely. Yeah, because we should do about 28-ish percent. And then I'm sure Sucker Punch finishes this off. Oh, I hope Sucker Punch finishes this off. The fuck? <laughs> that does way less than I thought. Okay. So he breaks our sub. Oblivion Wing should do about 30-ish percent. Uh, depending on his bulk, we might actually be able to knock him out here. Maybe? Oh, no, that is nothing. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Uh, I'm gonna try and bring in Clefable here. Because there's no way a Sucker Punch finishes him off here. So we have Charlotte here. As he Moonblasts, we'll see just how much he has in this. He did about 58 to us. Okay, that's some pretty good damage. Okay, so he's definitely running special attack investment on this. I want a baton pass. I really do. But I'm going to soft bold, I think. Mm, if I have a baton pass there, would that have mattered much? I'm not sure. Oh, so we're slower than him. But we're faster than him in the trick room. Okay. So we take this next hit. So he had Taunt, Moonblast, Nature's Madness, and Hydro Pump. Oh, scary, scary set there. So he can definitely bring in Kappa Raja here. Kappa just gets another kill. And then I can't stop the rune from getting up the Trick Room again, which uh, is really, really bad. Um, This lives another... No, it doesn't live another round of Stealth Rocks. Oh, it's a Speed Tie? What? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? What's going on? Wait, what? Uh, I guess this was a speed tie. Yeah. But wait, how? Or am I dumb? Did the trick room end? I might have missed the fact that trick room ended. That might have been my fault, actually. That might have been my fault. So Giddy Up is the horsey. Oh, yeah, this thing is um, very, very terrifying. Because this basically just wins. Yeah, this, this literally just wins. Um, I can try and soft bold. I'm a soft bold. Oh, wow. He, oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is game. Moonblast does not do enough. And then he's going to get plus one. There's no way that my zero aura stops this at all. So unfortunately we lose here in week two. Ah, I think, I don't know. I keep coming back to that Jirachi play. I keep coming back to the Jirachi play, but I don't know how much that necessarily really mattered. It would have made the game a little bit longer, and it might have made the game a little bit closer. But it was my fault that I did not expect him. Like, as soon as I clicked the move, dude, I, I was like, oh, he could be Scarfed. And, uh, that was my fault. It's also 1. It's like 2 a.m. So I don't like playing this late at night. Yeah, this matchup was just really, really bad, and then the fact that... Yeah, it's just... Oh, oh, well. We had a tough matchup. I really messed up. Platinum played really well, honestly. Like, he definitely, definitely played better than I did here. Again, Trick Room was, was the main, the main bane. That, um, I could have dealt with, potentially. Uh, I don't live any hit. <laughs> I don't live a hit. There's nothing I can do. Oh, well, if we play Platinum in potential playoffs, then I think I know what we need to do. The animation for Glacial Lance is actually really cool. <laughs> oh, that's pretty dope. I saw it the first time, but I didn't really pay attention to it. So he crits us. I don't really think that mattered. I think we would have just died anyways. Yeah, like, there's there's nothing I can do here. Yep, yep, yep. So, that is going to be game. I mean, I knew, like, I knew going into this, like, yeah, um, Calyrax Ice is just, against me especially because the Trick Room is so broken. And we're burnt, so there's no way I ever knock him out with the Sucker Punch. So I guess I'm going to go for it. 
Uh, we're not going to finish him off. And yeah, so we win week one with the 6 0. We lose week two. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. He can. Yeah, see, that's a crazy thing, too. Like, Calyrex Ice, because of our nerve, like, it's so hard to counter. It's, like, ridiculously hard to counter. I'm sur like, honestly, I can see this thing kind of being a little bit broken. I'm not going to lie. This thing is a beast. So, yeah, we had a really bad matchup. I kind of messed up with Jirachi. I don't know. Again, I don't know how close we would have been able to make it if I had kept Jirachi or not. Uh, I don't necessarily think we would have 100% won. But it might have given us a better chance to have won in that scenario. So, yeah, hopefully we can bounce back in week number three. Cop your Durham Dredagons merchandise down in the description below. With that being said, I will see you all next Monday. So, later, everybody. My brain and heart are both tied in the night And this hinders me from flying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real